So the next x score in the question is x equals 52. So like the first one, 52 is larger than 40. So it's somewhere over here. We're expecting a positive z score. So if we do z equals, the, the x is 52, minus the mean is still 40, divided by 11, because the standard deviation remains the same. So we've got 12 divided by 11, which is equal to 1.09, well, 0 0.0, 1.09090909, and on, so 1.091 to round it to three decimals. The next x score to compute is x equals 25. So 25 is less than 40, so it's going to be somewhere over here. We're expecting a negative z score value. So z equals 25 minus 40 divided by 11. So we've got negative 15 divided by 11. Which is 1.36 repeating, so 3, 6, 4. And the last is x equals... No, oh, no, I've got two more. Two more. Uh, x equals 41. So here we'll take z equals 41 minus 40 divided by 11. 41 is larger than 40, so we're expecting it somewhere over here. Uh, so that's 1 divided by 11. which is equal to 0 0.09090909, so 0 0.09, um, or if you want to keep three digits, 0 0.091. And so I just want to point out how easy it is to make a mistake with forgetting that negative value. Um, if I come back here to x equals 25, this 25 minus 40, I have the negative 15 here, but I forgot this negative here. Um, so it is a negative z-score, but if I had left off that negative, I would lose points um, on an exam or I might not pick the right answer on, on a multiple choice question. So be careful with that. The last one uh, is x equals 38. So the z-score is 38 minus 40 divided by 11. That equals negative 2 divided by 11. So watch that negative, keep that negative, because that, that indicates that the z-score is to the left of the mean versus to the right of the mean. So that negative is really important to keep and to remember. Um, and it's also really easy to forget. So the score that we get, um, negative 2 minus, divided by 11 equals negative 0 0.182.